the topic for the day is active and passive voice. Now in active passive voice, we generally deal with the doing or the action word that is the verb. Let's go through the definition. The voice of the verb is determined if the subject is the doer or the receiver of the action. Now let's see this with the help of an example. Joseph has completed the work last night. Here, Joseph is the subject, completed is the verb, the work last night is the object. In this case, the prominent thing is the subject in the sentence. For this, then the sentence becomes an active voice. Now let's see this in the passive voice. The work was completed by Joseph last night. Now you can see clearly that the object has been replaced with the subject here and the subject has, has taken the place of the object. And in passive voice, we use a specific word by as the agent. As the agent to show the connection between the subject, object and the verb. So, now the interchange of positions had, has led to change of voice. That means here the object is more prominent than the subject. So this becomes a passive voice. It, is, it becomes more easier to understand the sentence or judge a sentence if it is a passive or an active voice just because of one single word that is by. If in a sentence we use the agent by, it definitely is a passive voice. Why? Because it shows us the link between the subject and the object with the help of a verb. So it becomes a passive voice. Moving on with the prominence thing. If the action is doer, that is the subject is prominent in a sentence, then it entitles to be in active voice. If the action is the receiver, that is the object is prominent like here the object was prominent then it automatically becomes passive voice now i hope the concept between the active voice and the passive voice is clear to us we judge the sentence being an active voice or passive voice by looking at the position of the verb in the sentence the subject or the object in the sentence moving on now in sentences where subject is not defined properly, we generally tend to use the passive voice. Why? Because here the subject is not definite, not defined clearly. When words, certain words like someone, somebody, people, they, the, etc. These kind of words are used, then we tend to use the passive voice of the sentence. For example, Someone has stolen my book. Here, someone is the subject. Stolen is the verb. And book is the object. Now, someone is not definite here. It is not clearly defined. So, in this case, we tend to use the passive voice. Let's understand this. How? My book was stolen. This is what we generally tend to use. Let's see this with the help of another example. People in England Speak English. 
Now here people is the subject, speak is the verb, English is the object. Now people here is not a definite or a clearly defined subject. So in this case we tend to use the passive voice that, that is English is spoken in England. Now moving on to the fourth rule that sums out to be of transitive and intransitive verbs. Now if the sentence has a transitive verb then in that case we can change the sentence from active to passive voice but if it is an intransitive verb it cannot be changed from active to passive voice the reason being that in intransitive verbs we do not have an object we to convert from active to passive voice it is mandatory to have a subject the verb and the object but if we do not have an object it cannot be changed from active to passive voice for example let's see this the masons are building the outer portion of the wall now the masons is the subject our building is transitive verb. The outer portion of the wall is the object. So this can be converted, this being in, ad, in an active voice can be converted to passive voice. Let's see how. The outer portion of the wall is being built by the masons. Now it is very clearly evident that the, mason, the subject and the object play a very important role in conversion from active to passive voice. So it is very important to have an object and subject to do the conversions. In this sentence we have a transitive verb that says that has a subject that's the masons that has an object the outer portion of the wall. So in this case we could convert it into a passive voice that is the outer portion of the wall is being built by the masons. Now let's see an example where we do not have an object or an example of an intransitive verb. The child is crying. Now in this case, this is an example of an intransitive verb. This is an active sentence but it cannot be converted into a passive voice. The reason being it has no object. The child is the subject. Is crying is an intransitive verb. We do not have an object. So this cannot be changed to passive voice. Now let's revise it right from the beginning. From active to passive voice there are certain things to be kept in mind. First of all here we need to have a subject, a verb and the object in a sentence. Then we look at the prominence of the subject, the action or the doer verb. If it is uh, if the action or the doer or the subject is prominent it automatically becomes an active voice but if the action is of is done by a receiver or the object it becomes a passive voice in cases subject is not defined properly and the words are used like someone somebody people they the then in that case we tend to use the passive voice and the fourth one is in case of transitive sentences, in case where we have transitive verbs, the passive voice can be 
form but in case where we do not have an intransitive verb we cannot convert the active voice to passive voice because we do not have an object so hereby we learn entirely that in active passive voice the entire concept revolves around the doing action verb word that is the verb or the object and the subject of the sentence